Hello everyone, welcome back to Amin Maths Club. Hope you are doing well. So today we have a nice Olympiad exponential problem which is x to the power 6 is equal to 4 to the power 6. So we have to find the value of x. Now here uh, if we see our question that here uh, exponent on both hand side of this equation is same. So by using uh, exponential property we just write here uh, that x is equal to 4. So x is, is equal to 4 here, it is result, it is our result, but it is not only one solution of this problem. So x is equal to 4, it is correct, but not the complete solution. So we have to uh, find all the possible solutions of x. So now starting our uh, question here that x to the power 6 is equal to 4 to the power 6. So now first of all, we are going to shift this 4 to the power 6 to our uh, left hand side then we get x raised to the power 6 minus x to the power 6, 4 to the power 6 is equal to 0. So now here x to the power 6 can be written as that x cubed whole squared because 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So minus here 4 cubed whole squared is equal to 0. Now here uh, we just use our uh, nice algebraic formula which is basic formula as we know that if we have a squared minus b squared then it will be equal to a plus b times a minus b so here it is our a and it is our b now x cubed is actually uh, it can be written as x cubed plus 4 cubed times x cubed minus 4 cubed is equal to 0 so now we see that uh, there we have two possible uh, conditions that is x cubed is x cubed plus 4 cubed is equal to 0 and other one is x cubed minus 4 cubed is equal to 0. So let's say it is our first equation and it is our second equation. So now we have to solve these equations one by one. So first of all, uh, solving our first equation here, that is x cube plus 4 cube is equal to 0. Here we see that it is actually a cube plus b cube. So using algebraic formula that if we have a cube plus b cube, then it will be equal to a, my, a plus b times a squared minus a times b plus b squared. So now x cube plus 4 cube is equal to x plus 4 times x squared minus 4 times x plus 4 squared is equal to 0. So now x plus 4 here we have again two conditions x plus 4 is equal to 0 and x squared minus 4 times x plus 4 squared is equal to 0. So when we solve this first condition then we get x is equal to shifting plus 4 we get minus 4. So it is our first value of x which is x1 is equal to minus 4. Now here x squared minus 4x plus 4 squared is equal to 0. So x squared uh, here minus 4x 4 squared is equal to 16 which is equal to 0. Now it is a nice quadratic equation. We can solve it by using quadratic formula. So here value of a is 1 because coefficient of x squared is 1 and b is minus 4 c is equal to 16. So now using quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. So now putting uh, these values we get x is equal to minus b is actually minus time minus here plus so we just write here plus 4 because here it is minus value of b is negative. So plus minus b squared minus 4 whole squared is equal to plus 16 so we just write here plus 16 and minus 4 times a a is 1 and c is 16 all over 2 times a so a is 1 now x is equal to 4 plus minus that taking 16 is common here we just write 16 is common so we get 16 1 minus here we get only 4 all over 2 times a is 2 so next step is 4 plus minus 4 plus minus square root of square root of uh, this 16 
and here 1 minus 4 is equal to minus 3 so we just write it separately a under square root so minus 3 square root all over 2 now our next step is x is equal to 4 plus minus here square root of 16 is equal to 4 and square root of 3 times square root of minus 1 so minus 1 is a minus 1 square root is equal to iota so we just write i all over 2 here if we take 2 is common then we get 2 plus minus 2 times square root of 3 i all over 2 so cancelling 2 with 2 we have x is equal to 2 plus minus 2 square root of 3 i so these are our two another values of x so we just write here it is x2 and x3 so we just find it is the value of x2 and x3 now we are going to solve our equation 2 as we know that our equation 2 is that x cubed minus 4 cubed is equal to 0 now solving this one then we get x cubed minus 4 cubed minus 4 cubed here is equal to 0 so now using here on uh, that algebraic formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equal to that a times a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared so it is nice algebraic formula so we can use here now our step will be x cubed minus 4 cube is equal to x minus 4 times x squared plus 4 times x plus 4 squared is equal to 0 so now we have again two possible conditions here that x minus 4 is equal to 0 and x squared plus 4 times x plus 4 squared is equal to 0 so now here x is equal to 4 by shifting minus 4 we get plus 4 so it is the value of x4 it is the value of x4 so x4 is equal to 4 it is real solution now finding this one uh, using quadratic formula because it is a nice quadratic equation hence we have a is equal to 1 b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 4 squared is equal to 16 so now x is equal to now using quadratic formula so x is equal to minus b here minus b is minus 4 plus minus i'm just uh, putting the values of a b and c directly here because we have just solved um, previously in our um, first condition so it is very easy now b squared so b squared is equal to 4 squared 4 squared is equal to 16 minus 4 times a is 1 c is 16 all over 2 times a so 2 times a a is 1 now x is equal to here x is equal to minus 4 plus minus 16 we just uh, taking common 16 so here 16 1 minus 4 we just write 16 square root times 3 square root times minus 1 square root because we know that we have just uh, find uh, here um, by taking 16 is LCM we get 1 minus 4 so 1 minus 4 is equal to minus 3 and minus 3 can be written as that's square root of 3 times square root of minus 1 so all over 2 times 1 is 2 here x is equal to minus 4 plus minus 16 square root is equal to 4 and here uh, we just write square root of 3 value of minus 1 square root is equal to i all over 2 so taking common 2 is common we get that 2 is common here so we just write 4 minus 2 plus minus 2 square root of 3 i all over 2 so cancelling this 2 with 2 we have finally values of x which is x is equal to minus 2 plus minus 2 times square root of 3 i so these are our values of x5 because it is x4 so it is x5 and x6 so we just find six possible solutions of x so these solution here 5 and 6 are complex solution so we now we are going to write our entire answer here that our answer is here value of x1 so x1 is equal to minus 4 we just write x1 is equal to minus 4 and here x2 
here we just write here the value of x2 and x3 is 2 plus minus 2 square root of 3 i so x2 x2 and x3 is equal to 2 plus minus 2 square root of 3 i and x4 is equal to 4 we just write here x4 is equal to 4 and x5 6 is equal to minus 2 plus minus 2 times square root of 3 i so it is our uh, final answer that we have actually six values of x we just find here six values of x so here x1 and x4 it is our real solution and these four are our complex solution so i hope you have understand all these steps now we are going to just check uh, here our entire solution step by step so i hope you have understand all these steps and if you feel any problem you just ask questions in comment box so i hope you have enjoyed this video that's it for today don't forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting contents keep growing keep learning thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye